All right guys, so this is the first time of the year we're actually gonna get to utilize the med kit, which is not something I overly look forward to, but it is something that we can share with you. We have Maggie, she got caught on a fence today, and we have a not horrible tear here, but we do have a pretty, uh, pretty decent tear that kind of looks like it got caught this way and it pulls back in here. You can kind of see it comes down. now. It's not really, really deep where it went all the way through. You get into those multiple layers of tears, that's something you need to be going to the vet for. Um, this, we're gonna play with it just a little bit to figure out how it's going to close best. Do we need to close it this way or this way? And it really looks like that. This would be the best way and is probably going to be able to heal the best. To start with, we need to disinfect. This is chlorhexidine. Um, because it's just surface wound, we can uh, spray some of this in here. Hook's still moving. And you gotta stand up, sweetheart. Um, and then we've got some pads that we can actually clean that off with. Clean is important here. She's running through uh, the grass and the dirt and the sand. We are hunting in the Panhandle of Texas, and it's a pretty rough country. Right. We get some cotton squares, basically lap pads, to clean this up a little bit. This is in a pretty good spot. Uh, we we'll have to watch it because it's a spot that she can actually get to and the fact that she can get to it means she may try and chew these staples out. We will see. This is why we're cleaning that. That's pretty dirty. So we'll have to keep an eye on that and if she tries to chew on it and some other things she may need to be coned when she gets home, Dan. Yep. But. Disinfecting, keeping it clean is going to be the key to this not getting not getting nasty after we close it up. Yeah, that looks a lot better. A little blood and blue. That's the way we want that to look. Okay, so we've got um, that's good to go now. I went through and I pulled out my bag for my battery powered trimmers because the best thing to do when we've got a little wound like this would be um, we would put Vaseline in here and then we would be able to take and trim these hairs out of the way which is going to prevent them from getting into the wound itself and if those hairs kind of get into the wound that we're stapling shut it's going to end up with a situation where it's a little more difficult for that to heal. What we're gonna do, because we don't have the trimmers, came super prepared. I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, bacitracin or triple antibiotic ointment and go around the outside edges here and kind of comb them out of the way. And this will help. You can see how that keeps that um, hair going away from the actual wound. And when we do that, that's gonna allow us to close that up, staple it, and keep the hair out of there. And then when you get home, you put your, your trimmers back in your med kit so that when you need them, they're there. All right, and a little rag here. All right, so if you watched our med kit video, you actually showed me use this stapler on myself. It is not. Uh, very painful. Uh, you can really hardly feel it at all. So for any of you worried about that, trying to use this on your dog, this is going to be way better for them than not doing it. Now, what we need to do is pinch this closed and you can see um, we've got skin to skin contact there and then this has a little arrow. Let's go. I need for you to key, quit sliding away from me. All right, so 
hair is out of the way. We're gonna pinch this closed like so. I need one extra hand. All right, so it's looking like this is gonna be the best way to go. We're gonna go ahead and get that pinched up like that. Get the arrow right in the center and then squeeze and that's gonna hold our skin together. And then we'll try for another one here. We're gonna probably put three in to hold this tight down. Good, that one looks good. And then one more up. One more up top. Uh, we're here. Might as well do it. And then we'll put one more last one on top. So we've got plenty of coverage for holding this bad boy together, which is gonna be key. Now, you can see, we got a little extra tag. That's actually dried blood uh, and a little bit of skin. We'll continue to clean this bad boy up just a little bit more, but it's rinsed out really well from the inside out. We've got our staples in there. You can see that it's pinched. We've got a good hold. That's not gonna come out. If you don't get enough skin with your staples, what will end up happening is they'll just fall out. That little bit of the outside edge of the skin is gonna um, dry, kind of like a scab does when you get a cut, and then the staple will just fall out with that. So you've gotta have that pinched up there and then make sure that your stapler is flat against it so that you can staple and hold that together. We've got a good grip on the skin and that should hold pretty well. That will heal so much faster stapled up, otherwise you're gonna end up with that wound basically being open and a problem for upwards of a week. This'll be mostly healed because it happened less than you know an hour or two ago at the most. This'll heal within a day or so. So we'll throw a little bit of that uh, triple antibiotic on top after we do one more clean with it. And then we'll just keep an eye on it, make sure that she doesn't start uh, licking too much or try and chew those staples out. And other than that, folks, it's uh, pretty easy. It's why it's important to have a med kit with you. Again, I'm the guy with the pink gun, and this is our accidents happen in the field session. So thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.